Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Story Time. Miss Simino's back with another good book for us today, and this book is about a Sesame Street character. I'll bet you're going to figure out who it is as soon as you see the cover and hear the title. This is a fun, fun book, and I think it will probably make you giggle a few times. Now I'm going to dedicate today's book to one of my special young friends who watches this story time every single day. And I was talking to his Mimi online from the beach last week, and she said that Zeke never misses story time. So Zeke, today's book is special for you. So I hope you're watching. Friends, enjoy today's book, which is called the monster at the end of this book. And this is all about our friend Grover from Sesame Street, friendly little Grover. Now this book is written by John Stone and illustrated by Michael Smallen. And the illustrations are fun because oh my goodness, it makes Grover just come to life on the page. This is a Random House book and we say thank you Random House for letting us read our book online today since we can't read it in the library. Are you all ready to see what happens with the story called The Monster at the End of This Book? And look, already Grover saying, this is a very dull page. What is on the next page? Let's see what's on the next page. Wait, what did you say? On the very first page, what did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? It did? Oh, I am so scared of monsters. Look at Grover. He's afraid of monsters. And he said, oh, what did that say? Shh, listen, I have an idea. If you do not turn any pages, we will never get to the end of this book. And that is good because there is a monster at the end of this book. So please do not turn the page. Look at him. He doesn't want us to get to the end where the monster is. You turn the page! Look at him. You turn the page! Oh no! Uh-oh. We're getting closer, aren't we? Maybe you do not understand. You see, turning pages will bring us to the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book, says Grover. But this will stop you from turning the pages. See, I am tying the pages together so you cannot. Uh-oh, look, he tied them all up. Do you think I'm going to be able to turn the page? Uh-oh. What do you think he's going to say when I turn the page this time? You turned another page! You do not know what you are doing to me. Now stop turning pages! Look at Grover. Oh, that silly Grover. Look at him. Stop turning pages. Can you make a Grover voice like that? There. I, Grover, am nailing this page to the next one so that you will not be able to turn it. And we will not get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. Bonk, bonk, woot, bonk, bonk. Look at him. He's, oh my goodness, he's nailing the pages together? Do you think that's going to work? What do you think? Do you think Miss Simino's going to turn another page? Do you think I should turn it? What do you think Rover's going to do? Okay, let's see. All right, all right, all right! Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. Oh, poor Grover. <laughs> Silly Grover. Let's turn another page, okay? All right, let's go. What's he going to say? This will stop you from turning pages. A heavy, thick, solid, strong brick wall. I would just like to see you try to turn this page. <gasps> He built a brick wall. Do you think Miss Simino can turn the page anyway? I don't know. It's a brick wall. Look at him, covered with all the plaster and the bricks he's building. Oh, my goodness. 
You think? Okay, let's try. Do you know what? You are very strong, says Grover. Can you see Grover underneath all the bricks? He thinks we're strong because we were able to move the brick wall. The next page is the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. Oh, I am so scared, says Grover. Please do not turn the page. Please, please, please. Does he look scared? Do you think we should really be afraid of a book? Hmm. Do you think we should see what's at the end? What do you think? Sorry, Grover. I'm going to turn the page. Here we go. Ah, well, look at that. This is the end of the book, and there only one here is me, a lovable, furry, old Grover. I am the monster at the end of the book, says Grover. <laughs> and you were so scared, he says. I told you and told you there was nothing to be afraid of. The end. Look at that. He thought it was going to be a scary monster, but it was just a lovable Grover monster. And now he says, oh, I told you not to be worried. What's he say on the last page? Oh, I am so embarrassed. And that is the end of the monster at the end of this book. I hope you enjoyed a little visit with our dear friend Grover from Sesame Street. Bye, Grover. Did you have fun with that? Did you make a little bit of a Grover voice like Miss Simino tried? It can be fun to read a book out loud using different voices. It makes it more fun and more interesting, I think. Well, friends, today is Wednesday already. What are you going to do with your day? Go be brave and do something exciting and fun. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.